Hello guys, um, welcome to MA311 OL8 fully online class in the spring 2024 semester. Um, in this video, I'm gonna I'll give you a brief introduction of our Brightspace course. So first of all, you log on to the Brightspace, log into our course, and you're gonna see uh, this first link here is called Introduction to um, Brightspace course. Uh, which is this current YouTube video. And I'm also I'm gonna go over the syllabus and textbook. So when you click on the syllabus and textbook, um, first of all, um, we're gonna use a open source textbook. So this is free, you don't have to pay for it. Um, I've attached the PDF file of the textbook and all the homework assignments come from the textbook. Okay, then let's then let's open the syllabus first. Okay. All right. So the basically on the syllabus, you're gonna see all the uh, useful information related to our course, um, instructor's name, you know, course, um, and then my email address. So um, if you have any questions throughout the semester, you can send me an email. I'll get back to you um, within 24 hours. And the test we're using is free textbook for I MA311 mean, by Rene Mathis. Um, it's available in the same location as well as the syllabus. So next topic is the grade distribution. So we're gonna have three um, different sets of homework. Homework number one uh, from section 1.3 to 2.3 it's worth 14% of the final cost grade. And all the homework assignments come from our textbook. The homework number two, um, from section 3.1 to 3.4, it's worth 14%. Okay. And the homework number three, from section 4.1 and 4.2, it's worth 12%. And you're gonna have three written projects. Right? So if you complete all the homework assignments, um, with the high confidence that you have no problem completing all the written projects. So that will come to 100%. And then this is a cost grade based on the following range. So our side grade based on this criteria here. So the overall expectation for the course, um, you, you are expected to complete the, the uh, entire course by yourself, not having someone else to take the course for you. Um, also, no lay work will be accepted during the semester. Once the dropbox for the particular assignment disappears, that assignment will not be accepted. Any assignment submitted via email will receive the grade of zero. Right. So if you have to, um, you have to follow this um, deadline very closely. And the homework, in order to get credit for the homework, you must submit it via Brightspace clearly marked with the name clearly printed. You must show all work for your homework assignment to receive full credit. And also you must scan a homework assignment as a PDF file, right? only PDF file, no other uh, format is allowed. And you're gonna have a book submission. Right? Book submission, uh, each one is a, you submit it as a single file for all three homework assignments. And for written projects, for all three written projects, you must show all work to receive full credit. You must scan the written project as a PDF file. No other format is allowed. And you will need a, a scientific calculator or Excel to complete the homework assignments. And um, all the all the documents, right, like lecture videos, PowerPoint to be placed on Brightspace. So you need Adobe Acrobat to view all files because they usually are uploaded as PDF file. And then uh, next item is the cost schedule. So uh, this is basically on a weekly basis. So on the first week, you're gonna use linear equations 1.1 to 1.5. And then home assignments come from section 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. You're gonna compete all questions, right? So instructions here, pay close attention. Um, week two, you're gonna work on linear equations, 
part two, section 1.6 to 1.8. And you're gonna complete all questions, right? All homework questions from section 1.6, 1.7, 1.8. 1 and week three, you will work on the exponential equation, uh, section 2.1, 2.2. And only section, you only need to complete section 2.2, all questions. And application of exponential equation, uh, section 2.3, you're gonna complete all the questions. So um, once you finish all these course contents, you're gonna work on a return project. You usually have one week to complete a return project and then submit it via Brightspace as well as a homework assignments from section 1.3 to 2.3. They are both due on Friday, March 1st, 24. Okay. And uh, week six, you're gonna start working on the finance interest section 3.1. And you're gonna complete the homework assignments on section 3.1 all the way up to question 21. And week seven, work on compound interest and APR section 3.2. and you're going to complete all the all the homework questions up to question number 10 from section 3.2. Week A and 9, you're going to work on annuities section 3.3. You complete all the questions up to question 9. Week 10, you work on amortization schedules section 3.4 and complete the homework questions up to question 13. And after that, during week 11, you're going to have written project number two and a homework from section 3.1 to 3.4 due on Friday, April 12th, right? That's after the summer break. So April 12th, that's a due date. And week 12, you're going to work on probability, probability part one and two, which is section 4.1, all questions. You're going to complete all questions from section 4.1. Week 13, you're going to work on expected value, section 4.2. You complete all the homework assignments from section 4.2. Week 14, probability part 3 and 4, um, no homework from there. And also week 15, base theorem, section 4.5, no homework. And uh, last week, you're going to work on the return project number 3. And then homework from section 4.1 and 4.2 are due on Tuesday which is last day of the semester, May 14th. Okay, so this is basically a uh, summary of the course schedule. And if you have uh, a disabled student, uh, you can send me an email. I will provide a proper accommodation for you. And again, um, you're supposed to finish all the coursework by yourself, right? You can get some help from the Touring Center at the FIT but all the work must come from yourself. Um, okay, and uh, if you need some um, services from different department or different support services, you can look it up here. And in general, uh, if you need help, please contact Academic Skill Touring Center or Touring Service if you need help. Um, secondly, we should complete your homework assignments and written projects on time. And then third, um, you can email me if you have any question. Right? Um, this is a fully online class, so we do not have a weekly schedule, weekly meetings. And then uh, I hope you enjoy the class. Okay, so this is basically the syllabus. Now let's look at the textbook. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, all the homework assignments come from the textbook. So if you log on to the textbook, open the textbook, the PDF file, and you're supposed to read through the textbook, right? It's PDF file with easy access. And start on section um, 1.3, right? You see, all the homework assignments will be labeled exercise 1.3. So Access of 1.3, you're going to complete all these seven questions here. Determine if the equation below are linear. Okay, so you just work on this. Once you review all the lecture videos, PowerPoint, textbook, you'll be able, you'll be able to finish all the uh, homework assignments on your own. And section 1.4, that's a 
the content. Once you review the content, scroll down to the exercise 1.4. You're going to complete all the core assignments from exercise 1.4. Okay. Similarly, right? So you're gonna find all the home assignments in our in our test book. Okay. So basically, that's a just follow this closely um, together with the syllabus. You'll be able to finish all the work on time. And next item is a lecture videos and PowerPoint. So I created brand new lecture videos and PowerPoint for the entire course. So it's also at our course home. So if you go back to the, um, you see this lecture videos and PowerPoint, click on that. And from there you will see the, both the PowerPoint, the so lecture, the chapter one lecture videos, PowerPoint section 1.1. And the first item is always the, um, is the PowerPoint. So you can open it, review this um, together with the lecture videos. So you go over all this um, uh, lecture PowerPoint first. And I also I have the recorded lecture videos just below this PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint. Yeah, this is lecture video. It's labeled lecture videos. You see it's right here. You click on it, guide you to the uh, YouTube video. So you can go over this on your own, at your own pace. So again, um, those are the PowerPoint lecture videos. So I have an entire um, set of the lecture videos and PowerPoint for the, for the whole semester. So you just pay attention to this, go over this uh, on a weekly basis, follow the schedule, and in front of the syllabus, also the course guide, I'm gonna point, the, point you to the course guide and chapter two lecture videos, all points, they, they are located here. It's labeled clearly, right? All point lecture videos. First item is always the all point, second item is the lecture video. Okay, and chapter three, all point, lecture video, all point, lecture video. Chapter four, same thing, okay. So that's basically everything um, from the, this particular section. I also create a course guide. It also will help you um, keep up with the, all the schedules, everything. If you open it, it's identical to the to all the items listed in our syllabus. If you click on it, you're gonna see the course guide. So basically, um, I put in different like week one, uh, what your task is, right? Your assignment is from there. Also the home assignments from test book is also listed here. So this is another um, document will guide you through the entire semester. At week five, you're gonna work on the complete home assignments and then from section 1.3 to 2.3, and submit it via Bright Space as a build submission, right? You only submit it as single one file with all the home assignments from those sections, and then complete the written project number one on March, before March 1st, right? And submit it via Bright Space. So um, again, I will leave it to you guys to, to review all these documents. Um, again, follow this very closely and that should, that should help. And then uh, let me share the Dropbox to submit all the home assignments and also the, the written projects. Okay. So if you go back to our main interface, from our broad, from our broad space course. And scroll down, you're gonna see homework and written project submission. So all the Dropbox has been created here. So homework number one from section 1.3 to 2.3, you submit it as single PDF file, right? As a build submission, you submit it via this Dropbox here. 
you can submit it earlier, right? But uh, you cannot submit it after the due date, right? After the due date, the Dropbox should be closed. Okay. Same thing for return project number one. It's due on March 1st. And you must show all work. You must submit a file as PDF file. No other file will be allowed. No late submission is allowed. Okay. Same thing for home, home number two. Written project number two, same due date. Um, all the homework will be the built submission. PDF file only, no other file allowed. Okay, so follow this closely so you'll be able to finish the entire course work on time and successfully. So again, if you have any questions, send me an email. I, I'll try to I'll try to help you out.